Hi guys, so we randomly woke up and decided that we are gonna tour the South Coast. We have no idea where we're going. I personally have not been in years. I don't even know where we're going to end up, but stay tuned for our adventure. All right, so here we are off of the boat and we just reached Floyd Pelican's bar. So as you can see, it's literally a bar in the middle of the ocean. And I must say that it is a definite unique destination for anyone who wants to experience something different. There is a very nice surrounding beach or water, I should say, that you can swim in. It's pretty shallow, so anyone can go in it. Um, the water is great and it's the perfect temperature. You can buy your fish, your chicken, your beer, your rum, anything, and just chill out for the entire day. It's a wonderful view and there are actual pelicans right around the bar which is where it gets his name from um chanel is here just enjoying the water and she's just having fun and it was a really nice experience you should definitely experience it if you end up on the south coast of jamaica because it's there's nothing else that's like it so our experience was really good and we definitely be going back to just chill out probably bring a crew of friends just to have a lot more fun so definitely visit floyd's pelican bar if you get the chance to all right, yo guys, all gone. So today we just ended up touring the south coast of Jamaica. What reason I don't know, but we actually ended up here, and we're currently looking at Floyd's Pelican Bar. There it is. That's the boat we came in from. Yeah. So actually, we just came from there, and it was a pretty nice experience. Won't lie. So if you're visiting Jamaica or you're anywhere near Treasure Beach area, definitely visit Floyd's Pelican Bar. All right, guys. After leaving Pelican's Bar, we decided to get lunch by heading back to Mandeville where we visited Toast, located on 75 Ward Avenue. Toast doubles as both a cafe and restaurant. The first thing that wowed us was the 20 out of 10 service from our waiter. I wish we remembered her name, but props to her. She was really helpful, super kind and kept checking on us to make sure that we were okay. Their menu also had a lot of different options. You could have had your choice from different cuts of meat, chicken, pasta, seafood, plant-based options, and a lot more. For appetizer, I got the cream of pumpkin soup, which was delicious. This bread, let's just stop and talk about the bread that we got. It was so fresh. It was probably the best bread that we've had. LG ordered the bacon wrap dates, which was also very good. Something very different that we both loved. So both appetizers were good. We are giving the soup a 8.5 out of 10 and the bacon wrap dates a 7 out of 10. Okay guys, moving on to the entrees, I ordered the Cajun shrimp and chicken pasta while LG got the chicken pesto pasta. On their menu, you will see shrimp pesto, but he opted for chicken instead. 
Both dishes were good. I loved the spiciness of my Cajun dish. LG also enjoyed his pasta. However, he said he wished it had a bit more spice, a bit more seasoning. So we are giving the Cajun shrimp and chicken pasta a seven and a half out of 10 and the chicken pesto pasta a six and a half out of 10. Okay guys, so overall we loved our experience at Toast. If we are ever in the Mandova era, we will be revisiting and trying other menu options. Anyways, I hope you loved our video. Remember to like, share and subscribe and leave your thoughts below. Till next time.